That didn't go so good. What is up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of DTV. If you're not familiar with me, my name is Dane Thompson. Welcome to my YouTube. And that is the uh, motor to my CRX. It is now laying on the ground. Hopefully it's not broken. Oh, we got a water neck casualty. Water necks don't like to hit the dirt. Guess we won't be needing that anymore. So, first things first, you might be wondering why I have a blue car here and what happened to my wife's car. Well, my wife's car's in the back and I have been on panic mode working till like eight o'clock every single evening and just thrashing on her car because I thought the race wasn't this weekend, but next weekend. Well, it turns out I've got this weekend and next weekend because it's not till the following weekend. So I have plenty of time. And uh, that leaves me some time to find a water neck now too, because oops. So we will get after that, but what we're doing today is I'm actually going to try to stuff this motor in the car and see if I can get it to fire up because I was told it runs but I don't really know if it does. So let's uh, put up some shade because it's gonna be a hot one and then we'll get after it. Let's do that. I have the canopy up. We are in the safety of the shade and I'm gonna get started on my little CRX. So I need to put the motor back in the car, put the clutch, everything back in. I have a few hurdles as usual. Well, I have a broken engine mount for the driver's side. I don't know if I have all the bolts and stuff. I got a little Tupperware with some of the bolts and the guy was like, yeah, here's all the stuff to it and there's like five bolts in it, so I really doubt it's everything that I need. The rest of the parts are in the backyard, but I gotta get my cherry picker so I can lift the motor up and drop it in the car, instead of just dropping it on the floor like I did earlier, because that's not gonna be good. A few more of those and I won't have a motor, but um, let me open the hood, figure out how to finagle the cherry picker over here, see if we can't figure out how to drop it in. And then the other problem I have too is, I don't have a clutch alignment tool. I know they're like four bucks and everybody's gonna say, well, why don't you just go get one, idiot? Well, I went to the local parts store and nobody locally has one. So I'm just gonna use a socket, wrap some tape around it, whatever I gotta do to make it the same size and get the clutch hopefully somewhat centered. Slap this thing together. Hopefully this thing runs. We gotta go racing. I can't let my wife beat me either. Let's just keep our fingers crossed that this motor's good. I'm gonna go, uh, go back to Struggle Street. Have a bunch of crap in my way, namely a cherry picker and a motor that could probably fall over at any moment. I want to show you the box of goodies that I got with my uh, engine here and how little there really is in it. But it does have the clutch and I'm gonna have to mount the clutch to the engine before we drop it in. And the trick is this center piece on the clutch has to line up with the input shaft on the transmission. Like I said there's a special tool, there's a hole right there, they're supposed to line up. I don't have the tool so we're gonna have to figure something else out. This clutch looks pretty hammered too. I'll give you guys a look at it. So here is a look at the box of goodies. Got an alternator. Look at how small these things are too. It's like a little tiny itty bitty toy stuff. Here is my clutch disc, my pressure plate that, um, I don't know, it looks pretty, pretty hammered. But as long as it goes, I don't really care. And then this is the miscellaneous goodies I have. So that is supposed to be everything I need to uh, put this all together in here. I have an intake manifold and things in the back too, but that's where it's all gonna go. We're gonna find out. My buddy Pete came over, he helped me slap this thing in. It wiggled around a little bit, but we got it. It actually wasn't that big of a deal for the most part. So the motor is in place, although I have a broken water neck. Motor mount is toast on this side. Missing engine to transmission bolts, which are kind of important. I got three out of six, so I'm really not even that concerned because we're batting 
150 on that one. We're good. And then there's a couple other little things that need bolts and stuff, exhaust and all that other fun stuff. So I'm gonna go in the house, make a list, look around on the internet, see if I can find something compatible to this, and then we are gonna go to the junkyard in the midday heat. I can't wait. Let's go. All right, I made it to my local pick apart yard. And you know you're in the right spot when the gentleman behind you, the dude in the green shirt over there, actually picked a shirt up and blew his nose right to his own shirt that he's wearing. And it wasn't even on the bottom side, it was on the top side, so that's pretty cool. Let's go do some shopping. Maybe, maybe when I come back out, I'll just let it rip. I'm just gonna blow my nose in my own shirt and be like, what's up now? I'm gonna pick apart, bitches. All right, we are in like Flynn. Now I just have to find the import section, which I think is right here to my right. Ooh, is that one? Ooh. Let me go look around, and then when I find one, I'll show you guys. All right, here she is, my little diamond in the rough. Uh, there it is. I won't, uh, I won't drop this one. I won't drop you, little guy. Ooh, this one's a multi-point. Uh-oh. I think I'm about to steal all this stuff, too, and then see what they'll get me for on that. Ooh, and it's got the little box. Flower oh, still going multi-point. All right, I'm gonna get after it. Hopefully I brought enough money. Man, I've been going hard down Struggle Street, and I almost gave up on this. There's one bolt in the, in the center underneath that is just a bitch to get to, but I ended up taking off all the injectors, the fuel rail, and I was able to crack it loose. So uh, I'm gonna pull it out, and then I'm gonna be really sad when I get up there and they're like, oh, this is like $300, and then I'm just gonna leave it and pout, and then go home with the parts I need. So, Well, here is the fruits of my labor. I got it out, and I wasted a bunch of my day doing it, so. Hopefully I end up using it and it's worth it. And uh, I didn't just screw myself on time and sweat my balls off for nothing. I feel dehydrated. I'm gonna wrap it up and uh, head back to the uh, CRX at home. Well, I am batting 10 million today. I took all that crap off, struggled, sweat my balls off. Get up to the window, I was like, yeah, this is probably gonna be expensive. It's like $110 or something. I found one on offer up for like 40 bucks. So I'll just search off right, I'm not paying 110. So all I bought was a water housing and then a big ass bolt for the, oh shit. Oh yeah, starter bolts and all that other stuff. No, so we're good. So I got the hardware and I got the housing that I knocked the motor over and broke this morning. And then at this point, we'll just go dual point. I just need the thing to run and drive and then we can worry about multi-point maybe next season or whatever. Cause at this point, it's gotta go racing, man. I'm sick of kicking my own ass. Well. I just got back home finally after, I don't know, I wasted almost three hours at that junkyard. And I think it's because I saw something that I really want to do, but in reality, should have passed. That is two major flops for today. Motor falling down and wasting a bunch of time pulling out stuff that I didn't purchase. And I think they wanted like a buck 20 for the stuff that I had. And I looked at it and I'm like, I don't even know if this stuff's any good. I mean, technically it'll probably be fine, but for 120 bucks, I'll just go a little slower. It's probably a little safer anyway. So let me dump out my bucket into this bucket and then I'll show you the miscellaneous hardware and, and things that I have and then we can get back to putting the motor together. So let's do that. All right, here is the most important piece on our list. That's the water neck that I busted. Here is the last, I think it's this transmission to motor. And here are the exhaust manifold bolts that I need. I think that's it. Got one extra for good luck. Bam, that's my little water neck. So let me change that out. So here is the casualty that I did, or somebody did earlier, and uh, not gonna. Not gonna need that anymore. Game on. Ultra gray silicone. This is the best stuff on the planet. And if I could have two sponsors, if I could pick them, one would be ultra gray silicone and the other would probably be Harbor Freight because they seem to have everything and I'm a cheap bastard and I shop there a lot. So those are my two sponsors for you guys are out there. You can send me like cases of this and I would just roll around it. It'd be awesome. And then uh, cheap Chinese tools all day long because that's what I use most of the time. All right, back at it. Awesome. Good to go. All right, let me show you guys real quick where we were at. I ran the wire harness, and it actually goes underneath. I had it on top, 
and it wasn't working, so I think we're good now. And then that leaves me the wires for the alternator, which is supposed to be in that hole. And unfortunately, I didn't put it in yet, and it doesn't fit here. And then there's no way to go here because, as you can see, there's metal there back here. So what I'm hoping I can do is pass it right through here, then underneath, and then bolt it on. And then I want to bolt that on because I don't have a direct battery connection. So when the battery goes live, I don't want a live wire flopping around. If something could be leaking gas or something stupid, and then uh, next thing you know, I'll be on, on the news. See if I can put this turd in, and we will keep struggling. Let's keep on straight, 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 struggling. All right, so I think we're to the point to where we could try starting this thing. I'm gonna rob the battery out of my wife's car, and then I've plugged in, I think, all the necessary things to get it to at least run. We're missing a plug for the O2 sensor and then the coolant temperature sensor. I believe it goes in the head on these, and that doesn't have a plug. So you need both of those so the computer knows where to put the fuel map and everything. But it should still run. It should probably just run like crap, like the guy said it ran like crap, and that's probably why it ran so poor. But I just want to see if it'll fire and then if it has any knocks or anything. So if we're decent, then I can chase all the electrical and do everything and it's game on. If it won't pop or if it starts and it sounds like Uncle Rodney wants to come out and play, uh, then I don't know. We're going to have to go back to the drawing board. So let me uh, put some gas and battery in it and see what the hell happens. Before we get too far ahead of ourselves, the car does run. Um, I didn't hear a rod knock or ticking or clicking or anything crazy, but the fuel pump's not working. So I just tracked down the, uh, it's the relay, the fuel pump relay, and then that'll give me the, the feed wires to the fuel pump. And uh, I guess I could just jump it over there, but I want to see if the relay's even getting power. Because if it's not relaying it, um, I'll just, put in a different one and throw that thing on a switch and we'll be money. I can just flip on fuel like a fighter pilot and we can go race. And so I'm happy it does run, but it's still an uphill battle. So I want to get it to pump fuel and then uh, we will keep on rolling. That's funny because I think the clicking noise was the relay. That doesn't mean it's working, but Oh, I heard it clicking. Let's uh, tell me to put my seatbelt on. Let me see if she's getting juice and see who's hot and who is not. Yellow's on fire. Yellow's on no matter what we're doing. Yellow's ready to party. So I think the relay is working. <laughs> we're just not getting juice to the That's pump. it. I am pretty much done for the day. Uh, I've been pretty much defeated all day. So I'm gonna throw in the towel because I'm tired and I'm sick of disappointment today. And um, I'm gonna go research fuel pumps because I think it needs a fuel pump. And I'm assuming that not only is nobody gonna have this fuel pump, they're gonna want a billion million dollars for it when they do. So it'll probably be back to the junkyard tomorrow, but I'm gonna go early um, if we get back over there because I don't wanna be all hot again. And I know they had multiples of this car. So I just gotta see what kind of uh, gold coins they're getting for their used fuel pumps that probably won't even work. I'll have to buy the warranty because if it doesn't work, I'll take it back, dude. I'm not going to buy their $10,000 water pump or $10,000 fuel pump and then have the thing be bad and then be sitting on that too after I go slave and pull it out tomorrow. We will see. Back to it. I hope this thing gets better, man, because this thing's already kicking my butt. At least the motor's in and it seems like it wants to run. 
but I got my work cut out for me. So I'm gonna do some research and then uh, we'll get back after it. So I'm out. <laughs>